DW the coffee cat really amuses me. This is the fifth episode of the first season of Arthur. It's the second segment it aired alongside Arthur's pet business. And DW the coffee cat, it's actually, you know, I would love to know if, if you watch this episode, did DW do it on purpose to get her own way? I'll explain what I mean more by that at the end with a slight spoiler warning. It's not really a spoiler, but was she being really clever or was it just a coincidence? But basically, DW wants to watch Mary Moo Cow. Arthur wants to watch a triple bill, I believe, of Bionic Bunny. And Arthur kind of makes fun of DW, calling her a baby and says that she likes babyish things. And it kind of hurts DW's feelings. So she decides, okay, I'm not a baby. I'm going to be more like Arthur. And she begins to copy him, copy what he says, copy what he does, um, copy the way he looks. And in terms of the animation of DW um, with her, well, her clothes, I won't say any more than that. But I found that to be very amusing indeed, uh, really thoroughly, and especially Binky. Um, the way Binky responded to that, just, it amused me a lot. I really like Binky as a character. And obviously all of this copying really bothers Arthur. And the reason, one of the reasons I really like this episode is because I feel like this is something a lot of siblings have to deal with. I'm quite fortunate that, maybe fortunate is not the right word, but... I'm the oldest of three siblings. My brother was born when I was 10, my sister when I was 13. So by the time they were at the age of copying, the, you know, the age gap was quite severe, unlike DW and Arthur. It was never something I had a problem with, but I know siblings who are quite close to each other in age may have to face this kind of thing. And, you know, mimicry is a form of flattery, but was DW flattering Arthur or was she being clever and crafty? And that's the other reason why I love this episode, because it's far more complex than I ever thought it would be. I don't know if I've ever watched this and thought this, but it's something Arthur kind of alludes to at the end of the episode. And I'm going to explain just now what happens at the end of the episode. So this is a spoiler warning for the ending. But at the end, DW decides to go back to the way she was. Um, first of all, convincing Arthur to not call her a baby. And... Second of all, um, Arthur says something like, have I been duped? Because DW reveals that because she spent all of that time watching Bionic Bunny with Arthur, she now gets to watch a lot of Mary Moo Cow. And there's that kind of suggestion there that she knew what she was doing. She wasn't just copying Arthur because her feelings had been hurt because he'd called her a baby. I do think that was part of it. But maybe this was her tactic all along annoy Arthur so much that he will never again call her a baby or judge her for liking things that are, let's face it, age appropriate because the alternative might happen and she might start trying to be like him again. Was she that clever? Was that inten her intention? Or was she just a bit hurt about being called a baby and decided to be a bit more grown up like her brother? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know if the writers knew. You know, maybe it's meant to be open-ended are open to interpretation, but Arthur is not usually that complex. So I just, I was really impressed with it. DW the copycat is something that I think a lot of people can unfortunately relate to, um, but it's a very, very strong episode and one that I really definitely enjoyed.